we really decided to take an in-depth look across a number of industry sectors, as well as public sector and government, and asked some quite probing questions around how are you using analytics? What are the biggest stumbling blocks? What are the biggest benefits? Some of the key findings in that report you might regard as, well, that was to be expected in that, yes, there are a lot of companies that are using data and analytics today. And also, not entirely surprising, the focus areas, if we look at it at a high level, how companies are using data and analytics is to a large extent determined by the industry sector that they're in. We're still struggling with that gulf between IT and the business. And it is clear that if that challenge isn't overcome, that is seriously hindering companies at really making the most of their data and turning it to competitive advantage, or indeed using it in a way that enables them to remain competitive. And a final finding I would like to highlight, simply because that is um, so important to, to note, just how in many organizations the IT they've got today simply isn't able to move at the speed of business. Um, for example, we asked a number of questions around how long it takes to get a new report from existing data, to add a new data source to your analytics system. And just to quote one number, it's still around two thirds of organizations taking more than days, in some cases more than weeks or even months, just to do a new report from existing data. That is going to be a serious hindrance for organizations moving forward. What shocked me a little bit, to be quite honest, that you still see companies who think that they're, they're exempt from this somehow. So let me just give you an example. Um, if a manufacturer says, this doesn't apply to me because I make stuff, and that is actually um, potentially life-threatening for an organization. If I have to net this out into three bullet points, that should be on everybody's don't forget list. The first one is continue investing in data and analytics. If you don't, you will at sooner or later be at competitive disadvantage or if you're in government and public sector, increasingly remote from your citizen, which is not a good place to be. But it's not just about blindly collecting data. Having lots of data is not the same as having insights from that data. And even, even having insights is not the same as having those insights delivered to the point of decision, regardless of who that recipient is. Think about working with external partners to supplement your expertise, which should be focused on your core differentiators and look at what other people can bring to the table to optimize that with you.